There we go. We are green. Austin back to the lead. Tony Gaples right in front of him. Gaples, what a great start once again. Austin Aschenbach leading the field through the infamous carousel. This is a track Tony traditionally goes very, very well on. He's doing it once again here. Huge, huge day for your four-time champion. Fourth win on the season. Welcome to Black Dog Speed Shop. I'm Ray Sorensen, Vice President. Today we're going to show you around our championship winning Chevrolet Camaro GT4.R. We have two cars for sale that we ran in 2017 and 2018. And today we're going to show you around these cars a little bit. This Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE GT4.R car was commissioned by Chevrolet in 2017 and was produced by Pratt Miller, built in Michigan. For us, this car won the Drivers, Manufacturers, and Team Championship in 2017. GT4 cars are based around the stock parameters of the production car. On the front of the car, you can see that the nose and the splitter is based upon the production car, but a little bit more modified, plus with the canards on the side to make some more downforce, it adds a little bit to it. The hood itself is the stock hood, which is aluminum, with a carbon fiber front inside. The front fenders are stock, as is the quarter panels and the rest of the top of the car, but the doors are carbon fiber. The deck lid has been heavily modified to accommodate the wing on this car. If we open it up, you can see all the adjustments for the wing that have been built right into it. In the trunk, you can see this fuel safe fuel cell has been fit in the back of the car. And it has a dry brake system on it for quick refills during pit stops. And through this panel, you can see the dry brake system for the fuel cell. Here you can see this beautiful carbon wing designed by GM and Pratt Miller. Beautiful swept area, very high downforce and low drag. Works very well on the Camaro. Under the hood you can see that the uh, LT1 is naturally aspirated, so no supercharger, as which would come on the ZL1 1LE. But that's far too much power for this class, so uh, we have to run the stock LT1 6.2 liter engine. As all GT4 cars come, this is uh, built by Pratt Miller. It is 100% the way it's delivered. It has a cold air box, which is fed through the front of the radiator opening. It has modified caster and camber plates provided by Pratt Miller. And the dry sump tank is right up in front of the engine. The engines are built by General Motors at GM Propulsion in Detroit. So here's the steering wheel off the race car. You can see it has lots of parameters for buttons start and stopping the car as far as the engine, uh, traction control, dimmer for the dashboard, uh, neutral reverse, this is reset alarms, line lock of course, flashing the headlights, pit lane speed, drink and of course the radio. Even goes to 11, right there. Same with that one. This LT1 engine is hooked to an X-Track six-speed sequential gearbox with a Megaline pneumatic paddle shift, which is on the steering wheel. And that connects in the back to an X-Track differential. The front brakes on this car are Brembo Motorsport six-piston front calipers and four-piston rear calipers. The rear calipers are from the ZL1 road car. Capping off the brake system is a Bosch M4 ABS, which has been fully developed for this car. The car runs on a Owings TTX style shock, two-way adjustable. Uh, this is the front strut. Let's talk electronics in this car. So with the power on, you can see the Motec uh, C187 color dash all lit up. You can kind of see some of the different pages that kind of come through, so you can look at all the data as you're warming things up, or if you're on track, you want to look at a little, see a little alarm, or you want to see something up close, you can kind of manage your way through the pages. The car is run by the MS6 Bosch ECU, and then the ABS is the M4 Bosch racing system, which you can see is adjustable right here on this panel. There's uh, 12 settings. Ignition switch, wipers, of course, wet and dry for the uh, traction control, page button for the dash, Residual start from the steering wheel if it doesn't work. Uh, headlights, fuel reserve switch, push fire extinguisher. Uh, this car uh, in particular has a, a AC unit in it for cooling the driver off. And those are the switches for that. And of course the uh, brake bias controller is ready. We have fitted a rear view camera in the car to help the driver see what's behind him. Not only is this Camaro GT4.R still competitive across GT4, but it would also make a really great tracker. If you'd like some more information, please reach out to blackdogspeedshop.com or give us a call at 847-634-7534 and we'll have lots of information to pass along to you.